where to buy jeans plus size jeans in Nairobi Kenya guys in today's video we're gonna be going to think twice thrift shop they have a couple of stores all over Nairobi so we're gonna be going and checking jeans this is like thrifting but in a, like a store like and this is such an upgrade from Gikomba. so you'll always find me here with my sisters we're going to deal with my sister raising Baby Ella in Africa. She keeps on changing her name, so I don't know what she's calling herself right now. But I'll tag her on the description box down below and go and subscribe to her. She is looking to reach 4,000 hours watch time. Anyway, we're finding some cute pieces. And nowadays, I know how to shop like wisely. Th there's so many Zara jeans, but I don't know. I don't know, guys, if this is like original uh it's not a replica or what but i have a, I have a feeling they're original guys let me know in the comment section if you shop from zara and there's so many like designers there's Den denim vera model uh what else i saw mango also but the thing is zara and mango they are so the sizes are small like they i've never found my size so that's a bummer because i really love zara the quality of zara is so nice anyway that's my sister raising my bella in africa she's called amy by the way <laughs> before her being a mom she she is called amy but now we call her mamaela like really anyway I, I spent a total of 500 kenya shillings only got two items the denim that i wore at the at the black youtube event uh denim jumpsuit yeah and some zara sandals and guys i got a steal because i really love the sandals i love everything that i bought that's the outfit i think i'll overlay the outfit how i did the outfit so guys i've just done from think twice I only got two items of all that shopping cart guys all those jeans they were looking like they didn't fit me on my waist or if they fit me they looked like raggedy like it's not worth 250 so in total i spent 500 kilos kenya shillings on these items yes guys you can find zara vera moda denim which other one mango yeah so i got two items and i'm gonna try them on to you at home for you guys if you like this kind of video don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'm gonna be doing thrifting a lot so you guys can see what's in there yeah subscribe I went thrifting again. This is where I find my like uh, art deco. I really love that. And then I wanted a floor to ceiling mirror. These people, they had a really nice mirror, but the customer service was zero. Can you see? Like he was up here, but he went ukondani. He didn't even bother, so he didn't buy. So that has a new water bottle. This new water bottle. <laughs> She's carrying it everywhere. She's going. Now I want one. It wakes me in the morning. I put on a I put on in the location in the morning. It's now she's been drinking this. Hey, I want one too. So now it's my birthday is coming soon. You already know my present. So nice. So you are rich. Your dad is rich. So let me tell you about Ella. This is my sister braiding Ella. Ella doesn't like her hair to be touched, but because she saw me, Judy, uh, getting her hair braided, she said she didn't want to be left behind. So my sister Judy, this is my elder sister. She doesn't like camera, so yeah, <laughs> that's the least you'll see. Uh, you'll see just her hands. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> yeah. These things are really good. So for me, it's the first time having them, and I like the way that they're sugar free. This is how they look. They're so nice. They're fresh. We went thrift shopping again. This is shipping container from Germany, like ex Germany. So these items are from ex Germany. They're second hand things. It's another thrift shop. It has mainly like kitchenware, homeware, some pants, and yeah, stainless steel, things like that. Our, our subscriber Eric told us like we should stop using nonstick and start using stainless steel. So that's what I'm looking for, guys. Manichanwanga. So thank you so much. 
kuni chanoa. So guys, I know you're gonna ask me where is this thrift shop like where it sells second hand. Guys, every time I, I show you hidden gems thrifting, you always like sell uh, things out. So I don't know if I should tell you or not. Guys, please subscribe. My sister told me that I keep on selling their gems because this is where like my sisters always like influenced me. Like, let me just say that they have really nice stuff and they're selling at a really good all the things I got at the second hand store. So let me let me show you. Like this one, th this is when I've come here. I like it. The size is perfect for me. It's three liters that it has a I really got it at a good price. And it is only for me at a really good price, 800 shillings. Then it's it has like markers here, maximum three liters. Then my problem is like, guys, do you know Jamie Oliver? I bought it because I trust Jamie Oliver. Like he's a cook, right? So it's gonna make good pans, cooking pots, right? So, and then Eric, there's a K-type who told us like, we need to, when we did like nine stick pans, he told us like stainless steel is the way to go. Like nine stick pans have like cancer, cause cancer, I don't know. But anyway, I decided to take this because it's just stainless steel. But then tell me why I did not see this induction. Does this mean I cannot cook in my normal like gas cooker burner? Because what is this induction, guys? Tell me below. I'll Google it, but just tell me. Tell me. Tell me in the comments. I want to learn something new. And then here comes another one. Uh yeah. Oh, this bag. This bag is a, so much, it's a gift. I got it somewhere else. Okay, so this, what does this? They are goods from Germany. Anyway, this lady sold me this one for 100 so I can store like leftover food. Yeah. Leftover food. I like it because it has a uh, kifuni, because I can stay my leftover food and in the fridge because I cook a lot, guys. It cook a lot. Then you guys know I've not had uh what do these things called? Colander. I'm hoping it's stainless. I'm just hoping because it's not written anywhere, but I'm really hoping it's stainless. Uh yeah. This is what I went with because I need a colander. I don't know what do you do with this, but yeah. I wish they had I don't know. I didn't ask if they had a salad spinner anyway. That's what I got. I've been searching for a lemon squeezer. The lady told me this will also act. It's written in oh, it's also written in, sorry, in English. I don't know what space 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 of press is, so I'll have to Google or you guys tell me in the comment section down below. Anyway, it's easy to fill with cooked potatoes, so I think it's a smasher. I don't know, guys. So yeah, the lady told me I can squeeze also lemon. I don't know if it's true. Anyway, this one I got it at. I don't know why this. Things are expensive, but I also got it because it says it's stainless steel. Because where I live, the water is hard water. It's bohol water. So let's unbox it. Oh, so this is how it looks. It's huge. All I needed was a lemon squeezer, but I've been searching for lemon squeezer for over two years since I started living alone. I've never got it. The ones at Kafo, they're expensive, guys. So I wanted something cheaper, like... The, yeah, this one is 1300 and I can squeeze also my, it doesn't have, it comes with three, it comes with three, what do you say, these three things, but it only was that, so she started selling at 2000 but because we didn't have one of the items, I think it's this one, because of this and this, so she sold me, she sold it at, no, she sold it for me for, let's see, See? So there's only one thing that it's missing. She sold for me. She said I can squeeze my lemon. Yeah. That's why I wanted this. Because I rarely make mashed potatoes. Anyway, I can put my lemon here and squeeze it. If it's not it squeeze my lemon, I will cry. <laughs> and the good thing is you put your lemon and potatoes. I rarely make mashed potatoes. And it can 
stay in an any squeeze squeeze you can squeeze my lemon okay if this lady has lied to me that you squeeze my lemon and this not squeezing my lemon i will cry i will cry 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 I get then my sister told me not to take the paintings she's gonna gift me this painting here let's see she's gonna give me this painting so that's where I get my paintings uh, art wall does it call art wall yeah that's where I get my art wall yeah but the, uh yeah so if you if you are wondering that's where I get my art wall the last one that's where I got it from so you see like i'm so happy i love this paint artwork my sister gave it to me so i didn't even need to buy anything so in total i've spent 1100 plus 1200 i spent 1100 plus 1200 that's how much i spent 23,000 23, 23 and then that mirror was 15,000 but i'm gonna ask her again because i need a mirror also yeah guys i'm still at my sister guys so that's it i'm going today actually i'm gonna have to go today this is my head so yeah guys and this is what i've been many sisters when you go to one sister she say you're gonna pass here anyway guys that's it if you enjoy this thrifting haul if you want me to do more of this thrifting haul let me know in the comment section down below i'm still looking for uh casting there's this there's this pan that that guy that guy from oh what's his name he usually does like instagram and tiktoks video of cooking on the balcony i think he's a kiss for a long time i thought she was a low but he's kiss i think it's called dennis something you always like cook tomato done those pan those uh pan that she uses for cooking like fish and meat and chicken i want those those are what i wanted but this lady there was this other mama she came in she took everything she took everything guys she took everything i think she is reselling them so anyway don't don't hit the game don't hit the player hit the game yeah so she took everything guys and then we went there morning 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 hours because the first time we went there they were offloading so the lady said the owner said like we should come on friday so we came there on friday like in the morning when they are opening but i guess we were late we were like 10 30 minutes late so the lady took everything but i'm gonna go back i'm gonna go back because i want a mirror and no i was 50 50 about the mirror then the mirror was fifteen thousand. yeah so anyway guys that's all that's my haul yes i'm excited i want to change my 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 cooking i love cooking guys i don't know if you don't know that but i love cooking i'm waiting for kafo to have a sale on their fridge because i want I, i'm stuck i want a one point or lg fridge that's what i want and that's what i'm gonna get okay yes that's what i'm gonna get so i like i'm just like that i'm born like that when I want something, I want something because I saw the LG has two star rating on, on electricity. So that's what I want because it might end up expensive. Anyway, guys, thank you. If you like this kind of videos, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. We're heading to 50,000 subscribers. I'm currently posting my village vlog. So this video is going to, you're going to see it maybe later. Depends on how, like, I want to post the village content every single day those village content need to go asap before i delete delete them anyway guys that's it support a sister my birthday is coming up really really soon i'm excited about that and yeah the girl is getting all the all the you know now my age see what things are buying yeah and oh what did i buy in car oh okay i'll show you also what i bought I'd think twice yes i'm gonna wear them today i washed them yesterday i'm gonna I think i'm gonna wear it today if i wear them today i'm gonna show you i'm gonna like let me just show you because i know i'm gonna forget it outside so let me show you right now so i ended up getting this uh it's a dungaree 
because I call it dangling from this side this I love it it's nice it's a denim light denim and then this is the shoes I got they are not clean yet I cleaned them but apparently they're not that clean from Zara that's Zara yeah so I got them I got them they, they fit me perfectly they make my toes cute and then I'm feeling like I will steal this ask my sister if I can take this I don't know if she, she said yes or no but guys I'm gonna take it you gotta take it and then I took also <laughs> I took some spices of course I, I, I stole some spices from my sister she has the best part let me show you spice this spice hits the spice is everything I love it I love it so I she has so much so I took a bit so I was at my elder sister's place then I came here like I don't even need to update you guys when I come to my sister's sleepover because you guys already know, guys. You already know. If you're a K tribe, you already know. When I pass by my, my two of my sisters, three, then my sisters live close by. So when I come for the first one, I have to visit the eldest one, then I have to visit my other eldest one, and the last one, guys. Yeah, and that's how it do it is because if i don't come here <coughs> oh why it's gonna be chaos anyway guys like comment subscribe this video is been long enough let's reach a thousand thirty thousand fifty Ella, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. I I love a red donkey. Guys, I took my take away and I'm watching so my favorite so Kenyan vlogger, Rahana. Anyway, I said, like, I took some takeaway. <laughs> it was like me, I'm ratchet. <laughs> yeah, but I'm thankful I did take some takeaway some because, and then I just oven heated it, not microwave. Anyway. So good. I appreciate it even more. I wish I would have taken some mini. Full disclosure, Caitlin does have a million plus on TikTok, but it shows because when I started out pitching brands as a creator, I sent messages that looked like this. Oh, love your brand. You want to want to collaborate with me, right? Drop it in the chat. Paid for free, which is a five hundred dollar offer. This is no longer offered, standalone, as well as my secret brand deal research database. So again, we're reverse engineering campaigns where brands are already compensating creators. We're saying who is the likely decision maker here? 
What is their email address? What's their LinkedIn URL? Pitching angles. What could you say when you actually reach, reach out to them? You have a streamlined process for producing sponsored content right? Okay. So let me know, like, what do you actually do? Okay. Push comes to shove your concepts being, you know, been approved. Like, what do you actually do when it comes time to turn on the camera, turn on the microphone, draft this email, whatever it is. Like, what do you, <laughs> Nanette says, no, Ben says, nope. Sarah says, not yet. I need that says Micah. Not really says Jennifer, right? Well, let's talk about step number five, which is produce, which is your ability to create content that meets or exceeds brands expectations of timeliness, quality, and or performance. Why is a streamlined production process important? Well, it allows you to feel more in control of your time and your schedule. Would you like that? Right? We all feel like we're on the content hamster wheel. This is my new lighting. So let me let me open. Let me open that. Hey. Yo. It's new. Yeah. And it's battery also, whatever. So I think I want it all up. So it's a soft light. I don't know if you can see it. It's a soft light. Uh, I used to use the ring light, but now I have like more freedom. About my house is not in the morning. So, oh. Let me see. Oh. Oh. Hi. Ati? Ola sema? Ka. Ina kuza livia leo mambo. Atinopikene <laughs> 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 so they asked me again to bake this carrot cake this ca carrot cake has been a uh, hit like it's hitting all the right places everyone is if they see me they see me carrot cake so i had to bake for them and then they requested i do frosting this is my second time doing frosting and guys the baking is like a passion it's another passion of mine and i want to do it like i'm not even like i'm learning i'm getting recipes from online and just trying them so i need to buy things like hand mixer measuring cups things like that so yeah this cake was so good the frosting ended up so well but it wasn't like creamy because i didn't have like a mixer like a hand mixer so i need to get that electric hand mixer because i'm gonna be a, a baker guys and you guys are gonna buy it it's gonna be like a passion project another stream of income like guys order 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 like dm me email me if you want a home baked cake yeah and we'll discuss price fair fair price <laughs> Yeah, with frosting or without frosting, just call me Baker Kemuto. Like, yeah, like, yeah, yes. Anyway, guys, this cake was a hit, and then my phone fell down. Oh. Why? I was so <laughs> mad because this is my first time my iPhone is falling down. I've never, like, 
my phone has never fallen down so i was like i'm not i'm not gonna bake cake again for you guys why you like like i was so mad but thank god or maybe like i think my i don't know like i feel like the quality of my sound is not uh i, I think you'll notice also when i'm fiddling with my phone there's like some hissing rattling sound i don't know like you know my phone is iphone 12 pro so i think maybe i need to upgrade my phone i don't think it's the it's the falling because now and i put my phone on the tripod it has like this hissing sounds anyway people love the cake i'm cutting the cake everyone is coming with a plate to cut the cake there was no occasion i was just taking the cake for my i think you've seen her my niece tamara she was back for mid school and it's her first time in body school she started body school this year she's in form two so she was really homesick her parents are in mombasa and she had to come to yeah. That's the end of the mini vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, and watch more videos.